What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we're back with some more Eco, and man, have I been fucking busy. We got a bunch of new laws, um, elk preservation that passed because they were extinct. Their actual, their numbers are actually coming back up, which is cool. There's a real, um, you can definitely notice that they're starting to repopulate, which is awesome. So I don't think they'll be, that law will be an act for, an act for law. Uh, for long. Also, a couple of our tree types are going extinct, and um, i trying to get a tree act to where you can't harvest those extinct, getting close to extinct um, trees, because if you go over here, I'll show you, birch is basically only found right here. That's <laughs> There's no more anyway, so we're running out of trees, which is bad, and the laser defense law, so that way, you know, the end game laser can only be activated by an admin. That keeps, you know, people who have <clears throat> that guy already built him from using him. All right, we also got a, um, we got a combustion engine over here. We got a pump, so I can actually make, um, pump petroleum, and then we got a oil refinery. And the cool thing is, from the oil refinery, we can make plastic out of petroleum, gasoline, epoxy, or biodiesel out of fat from, um, from animals. Uh, with the animals as rare as they are, though, biodiesel, even though it's a, um, it's a cleaner ver variant of what we're doing fuel-wise, it's definitely hard to come by. So I've been having to buy tallow from people to get this, um, to get this biodiesel. But we now have powered carts. I have been selling powered carts. We now have a way of driving around. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. Devil Dog's gonna fix this. I've been using this to keep it from like falling that hold from keep it from falling into the world. But there we go. That fixes everything. See, that'll be the way of being able to stockpile it. But I have to go do a delivery at my store, and I kind of give a good time to to show around. There's somebody else's powered cart that I sold them. It totally fell over. This thing's turn radius sucks, asshole. But we have, our commercial district is huge now. Let's actually take it around. Oh, I can't because there's no ramp on that side. But I'll show you in a minute. The commercial district's huge. The economy's booming. Um, there's, bar there's barely any food left to forage. Um, so a lot of the new players are having to, like, beg for food, which is getting kind of annoying because everybody else is just kind of taking the food and been like, ah, no food for you. So we are going to go over here. I'm um, currently buying a few things. Biodiesel's still there. Biodiesel's expensive right now because of the uh, the way it's working. Uh, I have no linked inventories. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure I have this. Um, let me throw these three carts in here. So now I'm selling five carts for 75 bucks a pop. I also need to re-add my fish. Um, charred. Charred fish. I'm going to sell them for 0 0.01. Because I have 400 of them. Um, so yeah. We have fuel. Biodiesel is a little more expensive. We've been selling the powered carts. I'm buying um, concrete, steel, all that. I also need to buy concrete. So let me add concrete to my buy list. And I'm gonna buy it for two. And drop that down to seven. And two for that. Perfect. Okay, and then um, somebody had a buy order up back behind us for pistons and gears, which I can now make. So I'm gonna turn around. Uh, I had a lot of governmental work to do to here because unfortunately, see it only takes like one or two plots to make one of these stores. Well, some asshat came by and claimed like the half of the entire, you know, commercial district with his plots. So I was like, oh, oh, fuck no, dude. And um, I had to delete like half of his plots because it was just stupid. We also have a public anvil because of the bloomery. Since we banned the bloomery, people can't make an anvil. Um, so we decided to do that. I can make iron pipe myself. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Well, fuck a duck. All right, let me grab these pieces that he needs to needs to buy for me. I think he's trying to make a cement kiln. 
and that's why he needs these um, these pistons and gearboxes, which he's giving a fair price for the sell for, so it's all good. He needs ten of them. I got six of them. And 12. He needs 10 of these. Boom, 148. He wanted a max of two gearboxes? Okay. Okay. Can I sell him two more? Okay. Well. He got all this stuff, and now I, have, I still have enough left over to make a piston engine for another powered cart. But let's go for a ride. Let's show everybody around. I'm getting my factory built, so I'll be able to make excavators soon. I also paid one of our carpenters to make my store look pretty, because I don't have the skill. You know, you can only spec into so much, so I don't have the skill to make the, the roofs and stuff like that and build. So that's a new thing that's going to be going around, is people building houses for each other. So let's go on this way. There's not much farther I can go road-wise because um, this needs a four by four or you know four wide road, and I've only been able to extend it myself personally, not that far. But um, I actually had to do this because this corner you can't hit with this thing, so I had to make a straight lane for the powered cart. And then also, oh nice, he made a new ramp down. That's four by four. And then I made this ramp here, but the problem is there's like nowhere to really roll with it. So what I think is gonna happen is we might get this bridge extended. So you can just kind of jump on it like that. Uh, but this is about as far as we can go right now when it comes to the powered cart. This was supposed to get extended four by four. I think I put a contract out on that ramp, but ain't nobody really taking it. But yeah. I mean, it's we're, we're accelerating ourselves a lot farther than I thought we were. And now we're into some pretty cool stuff. Oh, God, the turn radius. I'm really hoping they add... They're, they're adding cars, tractors, trucks, um, combine harvesters, plows, powered plows, bulldozers, um, a big mining, deep bore mining machine and boats soon to the game. And I'm hoping that update comes soon and we don't have to wipe so that way also smoke you. I'm hoping we don't have to wipe so we can really get like a good transportation system coming. But it, it's gonna need some balance. I think there's gonna be need to be electric cars added also because of the, you know, everything that's going on. Also, I'm trying to get a home bonus on my house right now, but I am having a real bad issue. There's no bonus really showing with my house, even though I put a bunch of shit down there, but whatever. Um, let's see what's up. I can make one combustion engine, or I can make two combustion generators. I'll just make a combustion generator. I think somebody might end up needing that. I kind of think I should make a stove. Ooh, you know what? We need wind turbines. Let's see if I can make any circuits. I need two copper. Shit. Of course I need copper. I don't think I have any copper either, do I? No, I don't think I have any copper. That sucks. I can actually make a powered cart already. <laughs> it takes 24 minutes to make though. Devil Dog is like the car dealer, the, you know, the car dealer of the area. Copper wiring, one copper. Uh, let me go up there and just buy some copper. I think that would be the best bet. Let me get back in my little car. Here we go. Oh, fucker. Okay, there it goes. Like I said, the turn radius on this thing? Horrid. Somebody has to have copper ingots, and I'm pretty sure steel does. 
but Tome Man might. I'm trying to like spread the wealth. Like I'm not trying to buy from the same person over and over again, but at the same time, not many people have gone into smelting yet, which is weird. Damn, dude, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. I should have just gone right into my cart, I think. No, where the hell did it go? My random ass storage chest that I have no idea where that is. So I'm gonna have to like look around for that random ass storage chest. Let's just do this, we'll go back, 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 back. There we go. And back home we go! If it does flip over, you can pick this thing back up and place it, but you have to take the gas out of it first, which is kind of the annoying part. Factory, don't I? See. No, actually, I can do it from over here. And it'll make four pieces. Sweet! Alright, so we'll get some of this stuff done and we'll pick it up once we get a little farther along. Alright, guys, just a little bit of an update. Uh, I did get the factory done. It doesn't need a building, um, though it is polluting like a motherfucker. <laughs> So right now I got it outside and I'm working on this computer lab, which apparently um, a place where you can sit all day and play video games or do or work on an expert level research. So I'm not sure what it does, but I really want to see um, what's going on. I also put up some street light, street lamps, make a lot of really cool things with this thing, including I think the excavators made in this. Yes, the excavator is the next thing that's going to be made. The next thing I found out is biodiesel is pretty useless. You can't power any generators with it. Um, you can't power carts with it. I have no idea what to do with it. So I'm kind of halting my biodiesel um, at the moment. And um, we are running out of gasoline. So we made too much biodiesel and made less gasoline. But I want to show you the pollution thing that goes on. Now everything that produces any sort of combustion pollutes. And... Um, let me go ahead and show you this. This is the output it's doing with the pollution, 0 0.08. Flowing, zero, you know, smog, 0 0.07 smog per second, raises atmosphere CO2 by one part per million every four hours. So the total CO2 parts per million in the atmosphere right now is 325. We're getting 162 um, per day, but the plants are reducing it by, 33 parts per million. Negative 33 parts per million. Now if you look here, sea level, our sea level is at 40. After 375 parts per million, the sea level will rise one meter for every additional parts, 25 parts per million. So we will get sea level rise if we start producing more CO2 than the plants start taking away. So the less trees we are, which we're already having a tree problem, it's gonna, it's gonna get crazy. Temperature is raised zero. But after 340 parts per million, the temperature raises one degree for every 30 additional parts per million. This will affect our crops because crops need to be at a certain temperature, certain crops need to be at a certain temperature range to produce as much as they do. Um, so when we're having all these things jumping around, and I think this thing is, when enabled, this does 0.1 part per million an hour. Lifetime pollution, it shows. Um, legally allowed to pollute. So right now we're kind of in a good zone. Oh, I actually have a tree getting built. Oh, a tree's growing here. Nice. Cool. Um, pollution's not that bad, but it's going to start rising here soon and we have to keep an eye on it. Also, I want to see what my oil is looking like in this area. So let's go for oil. I want to see how much we have left around here. It would be nice if it would just show me oil. There we go. We got a good amount of oil here. We might have to move sooner than later, but th I think what we're on right now is just a massive stockpile of oil. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, 
right, we have we have a good amount of oil in the area. So, but oil will start running out in this area if we're not careful. Let me start getting some more gasoline made up, because believe it or not, these combustion generators I have burn through fuel super hard, super hard. But um, yeah, here's our street lights. They take a lot of power. Right now, our power demand is at exactly 1,500 watts, and our supply is 1,500 watts. So if I put up another street light, that thing will shut off. But we were working on a windmill generator to be able to put street lights up in the town, and I want to see if that's actually done now. One minute, 15 seconds left. And then we're going to take that sucker and pop it up in town. Um, I'm going to go from there. Also, I can make another circuit, which I'm going to do. I can make a servo. What do I need to make servos? Great. A circuit and fiberglass. I'm out of glass. Until somebody starts selling me glass, I can't really do much with it right now. So it's kind of annoying. Also, i got to figure out this room situation to get room bonuses. It sounds like somebody's coming by with a cart. I thought I heard somebody coming by the cart. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, this pump jack's still pumping out fuel. Three barrels, three more barrels. Let's see if we can get gasoline. We already got gasoline, but I want to put this gasoline. How's this thing doing? This thing's out of fuel. Combustion generator. Let's go ahead and throw that in the fuel supply real quick and power it on. Okay, so now we got we got extra. We got extra. Because this was using off the power grid of the other one. So I didn't notice that this ran out of fuel. Okay. What's its status? How much is it doing? I don't think it really... Even though it's a combustion engine, I don't think it's really doing anything polluting-wise. It's kind of weird. Interesting. Yeah, but we have all this biodiesel that's really worthless at the moment, and I'm kind of pissed about it. Because I've been paying good money for tallow to be able to get the biodiesel. There we go, okay. So, the windmill generator is, the wind power generator is done. I just need to find it. I take some extra street lights with me, and there it is. Okay, let's go put it up in the town. And... We'll be able to power some streetlights. I actually have the perfect spot that I want to put this in town to where it's not really in anyone's way. But at the same time, it will generate power. On top of that, I also want to use water wheels for this spot to generate some extra power in the area also. The thing I, I don't like is that it kind of does the power on a radius and you don't have to run circuitry. I would like to see if it, it could run circuitry. Perfect. This is actually right where I wanted it to be. There it is. Cool. Let's see if we can turn it on. Max output. Cool. Okay, so let's drop some street lights down. There it goes. Sweet. So now we have spots for street lights. And we can have some light up in here. There's another street light. I think I'll throw one on this corner somewhere near Falcon's place. Well, that's somebody else's property. Who claimed all this? Why is Exodus claiming all of this. That's annoying. There we go. There's a street light. That seems like it's too far out to be powered. Power grid has insufficient power. Alright. Well, apparently we hit the max level. But I would like to put water wheels in here. Over here to generate some extra power. I don't think anybody owns this. Golden Icon does. Why does why does everybody own land over here? Who's this? Golden Icon's land. Golden Icon's land. I know he doesn't why does he own this? I'm going to have to fix this, unfortunately. It just seems like this guy just stockpiled shit here and just called it a day. There's no way he can even open a store or build. This is the commercial district still, so I don't know what he's trying to do. I mean, he could extend the road here, but it just it's just going to be pointless. 
whatever. I'll figure out how to do this. Actually, we can do two water wheels right here. Alright, so we'll wait for this, this thing to finish up and then get these water wheels built and add some more power. Alright, so I got two water wheels. They do generate a little bit of power. I want to put them up and see what they do, power-wise. That's still that guy's land. This is not, though. And I think this might be big enough to drop a water wheel in. Why can't I place a block there? I was about to say, I'm like, seriously, dude? see what they do power wise 400 watts demand zero you sure about that oh there's an on and off switch for this it's kind of cool I wonder if it actually works hold on turbine on so we got the mechanical power here but it's not really there's no demand for it really it kind of sucks it's only 200 watts though all right well let's wait for the rest of our stuff all right guys we're back and we finally finished this computer table it only took like an hour to make it and uh we actually had an update to the server which hopefully does something with the performance i think that would be kind of nice um let's put it here oh I want it here, but I want it to, to look good. Okay. Missing object required by power grid. Demand supply. Oh. This controls the laser. Oh. Interesting. I think this is what at least controls the out of fuel. Okay, so that's our fuel thing, and it's out of fuel. I think that's the piece that controls the, the laser. We will find out, though. I go through fuel pretty fucking quickly with some of these things, so this is getting kind of annoying. Okay, let's see if I can... Let's, let's see if it's powered now. Power grid. Supply, demand, network. Okay. Activate. Okay, so this is what we use to do power then. Okay, cool. So we'll just leave that for there. That's just part of the future puzzle, I guess. What do I need for... Ooh, I can make solar? Oh, no, I need to make servos, and servos are expensive. I can make, no, can't make fiberglass. I'll make an electric motor. And for the electric motor, I can use collect. Okay, cool, my barrels are done. Um, wind turbine, if I do another gearbox and a circuit. I actually put these over here since we really don't need biodiesel anymore. We're gonna need other things. Here we go. Let me uh, create some more petroleum. 18 minutes. I'm gonna have to raise the price of gas here soon. Um, but I think the factory had the electric engines. The electric. Not the advanced combustion, but the. Uh,
currency exchange. I think there was an electric engine somewhere. I must be missing it. Make some more mass barrels, because we're going to need a lot more oil, so this will be good. We're going to have to start working on the excavator here soon. I need, for the excavator, I need a lot of stuff. Pistons, valves. I need servos, which need a bunch of shit. And then I need these cellulose fibers. So, that's a buying option for me in the future. Oh, let me uh, put these over here. Make more fuel. Another 15 minutes worth of stuff. That has out of fuel. Yay! Glorious. But this doesn't need power. No, because I have the other thing that's providing power, so it's all good. And then, I'm pretty sure there was an electric engine somewhere I could build. Electric motor. There. A motor. If I just had one more steel, I could make it. But what is it powered by? I guess the solar generator? Servo. And what do the servos take again? Fiberglass. I need glass. Until somebody starts providing glass, I'm pretty fucked. So, that's the issue of the future. But, anyways, we're, we're making a, a pollution impact. We're going to try to reverse it. It kind of sucks that biodiesel is not really usable, but what can you do? What can you do? But anyways, guys, you guys want to see some more eco? Let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.